In this tutorial, I will demonstrate how downlink messages are sent from the Things network to my self-built Lorent development board using the MCCI Arduino Elmic library. I assume you have watched tutorial 22. In that video, I created the TTN OTA My Demo sketch and demonstrated the OTA activation method. For security reasons, in the TTN console, the register device, YouTube demo device, the dev AUI and app key are modified. To keep these videos as short as possible, in this tutorial, I already have resaved the TTN OTA My Demo sketch and called it TTN OTA Downlink and changed the dev AUI and app key accordingly. Make sure a LoRa gateway is in your area and your LoRa end device can send messages to that gateway. Open the Arduino IDE. So the TTN OTA My Demo sketch is resaved as TTN OTA Downlink as you can see over here. For security reasons, I have altered the dev AUI and the app key. Please note this sketch still transmits the message hello world every 60 seconds. The TTN OTA download sketch needs to be modified. Go to this link, and this is a modified TTN OTA download sketch. Search for the word edit, and copy and paste these codes in the TTN OTA download sketch. The same applies for this code. And the same applies for this code. To detect the received download messages, two LEDs, green and yellow, including 220 ohm resistors, are connected to the Arduino Uno, as you can see over here. This setup is the same as in tutorial 22. In this tutorial, I only added two LEDs with resistors. The anode of the green LED is connected to pin 6. The anode of the yellow LED is connected to pin 8. And both cathodes are connected to ground. So the hardware setup looks like this. Now connect the self-built LoRa development board to your computer using the USB cable. In the Arduino IDE, select Tools, Board and select Arduino Uno. In the Arduino IDE, select Tools, Board and select your port. Compile and upload the TTN OTA download sketch. You should not see any errors. In the Arduino IDE, select Tools Serial Monitor and select baud rate 9600. The device is being registered. The hello world message is received. As you can see, every 60 seconds, the message Hello World is transmitted. Click Overview, scroll down. In the Download section, select Bytes and enter the value 01. And press the Send button. Select Data. As you can see, the payload 01 is scheduled. As you can see, the yellow LED is now on. Go to Overview and enter the value 02. Press the Send button. Select Data. As you can see, the payload 02 is scheduled. As you can see, the green LED is on. So if you send the hex value 00, zero both LEDs are off. If you send the hex value zero 01, the yellow LED is on, 
but the green LED is off. If you send the hex value 0 to the yellow LED is off, but the green LED is on. And if you send the hex value 0 3, both LEDs are on. The Things Network Fair Access Policy allows at most 10 download messages per day, including the acknowledgement for confirmed uplinks. More information about the Things Network Fair Access Policy can be found at this location. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. If you have questions, leave your comments below. I'll do my best to answer them.